Hey guys, welcome back to Rick the Electronics Guy. Hope everyone's doing well today. So today we're gonna do uh, a newer thing with uh, that I haven't done on the channel before. So we're gonna we're gonna set up a mining uh, a rig for the newest cryptocurrency out there called Beam. So the first thing we're gonna do is you do not want to use Internet Explorer because you're gonna get this when we start setting it up and, and a lot of the stuff is gonna be in Chinese and not everything is gonna fill out in Internet Explorer unless you have a good translator on there so I'm gonna recommend you to use Google Chrome so one of the aspects of where we need to go is we need to go to sparkpool.com I will put that in the lower comments and we need to set up an account here now so when we set up an account here in sparkpool you're gonna come up into this translator box and you're gonna have this set up when you log in you'll get logged in you will have everything and then when you come to your workers you will have a screen right here that has two boxes the top one will be for your wallet number the bottom one will be for your name and what you're gonna do is you're gonna input that and then it'll give you all your hash and your workers and show your online your hash rate and all that other stuff so that's the first step that we're gonna to wanna to do you're not gonna be able to install this part but you can get your login and get it ready for when we come back so then the second part what we're gonna do is we would go to beam.mw and we're gonna come down there and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the join us we're going to click on download wallet and we're going to download the beam wallet for desktop with CPU miner now unfortunately you really don't want to use your CPU to mine you're going to want to use the other so now for my instance as a lot of people are unfamiliar with getting everything installed and working correctly I am going to download both the OpenCL miner and the CUDA miner just so we can get everything all done at once and from here I'm gonna open the beam wallet and we will get it installed So what we're going to do now is, so here we go, we're going to get this wallet created. We're going to generate a speed phrase. Now you're going to want to take your phone and record this and also save this somewhere so that you have it for future reference because without it, you are SOL. So this is what you're going to news. Get this, save it, keep it, do what you need to do. And then when you get to this point, it's going to ask you a bunch of different little phrases. You're going to have to put them in. And then uh, you'll just keep going from there. And then. that wrong for that wrong one and then we will hit next to go to the next one we will create a password and then we're gonna want to run integrated node I'm stuck at the bottom so I'm gonna hit tab one two three four five six seven enter and then we should be good to go we're waiting for it to create our wallet and download the blocks
Now, why that's taking so long, I do not know. So while we are waiting for this, we will come over here and I will go into my downloads and we are going to look for what we just downloaded which is I believe the Cooter Miner and the CL Miner yeah so we're gonna open this new folder say beam new folder open CL and new folder CUDA now this is just for reference for either or uh, depending on what you're using AMD or NVIDIA um, that's why I'm getting this set up because there's a lot of confusion right now with both of these so your open CL right here paste those in there and we'll go back and we'll come to the top here to CUDA and we have that in there All right, guys. So, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to open Notepad. And we are going to put this line in. So, as you can see, we are in the CUDA file right now. And I will go over the OpenCL file in a second. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put beam dash CUDA dash minor dash or sorry dot exe space dash dash server space beam dash eu dot spark pool.com colon two 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 and then we are gonna dash key on the bottom we're gonna put pause and then we are gonna save our file for now So now we are going to go into our desktop and we're going to go into Beam CUDA, change this to start.bat, change this to all files, and now we're going to save that. So for this, now we will go back into the OpenCL. The only thing you have to change is this CUDA to OpenCL. File, save as, start, dot bat. So now we have them both ready to go. We just need to get our key and put it in. So now, let's hope that miner is done. We are set. So now, what we're going to do is, the first thing is, so we're right here. We have nothing going on. And you can switch through everything. Right here is our accounts. This is the default. This will expire t today or tomorrow, whatever. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come right here. We're going to set up to receive. We're going to change our expiration date to never and set it up for Spark Pool. Now, double click this till it's highlighted. Click copy. 
Now we can close this and right here we will have our spark pull line with our key. Now we will put our key right here and right behind this we're going to put dot my my dash computer dash one or whatever code you want to use to recommend your computer if you have multiples and you'll do this the same thing in your OpenCL file I'll just copy so I can save this here because right now I believe this one is under the OpenCL so I will save that and then I will just close this come back to beam CUDA edit space there save now we have both of these set up so now we're gonna go back to Chrome and we're gonna go to spark pool now this is where I was saying you'll have to put in your line of code after you make your login on the top for being that and then your bottom for being your your key so top is your name, key is your bottom. And then from there, then you'll get this screen that shows up. And right now, as you can see, I have a balance. So what we do from here now is now that you have this set up, is now you will click on your start bat so this will run on your computer with OpenCL if you have an AMD unfortunately on this PC right here I do not have the capability of running on either or because I have an Intel processor on my laptop for demo purposes but I will show you a screenshot of it actually running on a PC and you should be set to go guys uh, everything will be ready for you to go once you got this all in I do appreciate you watching and please like and subscribe thank you guys have a great day